Hi there, I'm JP, and today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own sod plug. First thing we got to do is get our ingredients. Let's get us some dry grass. Any common grass will do. Then just get your, your everyday topsoil material from wherever you live, because that's what the grass is going to be growing around anyway. So just go out into your local woods and find a nice little area of pine finds and just collect those up try to keep the pine straw out of them. A small Tupperware container and some ordinary potting soil. Then bring them all together and mix them up. Now this just creates a nice medium for the grass to sink its roots into and make a nice root ball so that you can transfer it easily into the ground. And it's best to use common soil from where you're at and uh, if you're wondering about you know treating the soil or you know sterilizing it I don't, I don't really see much of a need for that considering this is just grass. Just It's going to go right outside anyway so just use whatever is naturally available to you so it will have its best chance of getting acclimated to your environment. All right, now that we've got a nice little mix there, let's go ahead and put it in. And we're just going to fill this thing just a tiny bit over halfway. Great. Now we're going to apply our grass seed. This is just some ordinary store-bought grass seed with the fertilizer coating on the, on the outside of it. We're just going to sprinkle these right over the top. Try to disperse them so they're not too, not too uh, dense. And that should be good. You don't have to worry about putting too much in there because each plant will continuously produce more blades and it will spread on its own. All right, now you just got to take some of our mix and just put a nice coating right on top. And don't fill it all the way up because as that grass grows, it's going to push its way out of the dirt and it's going to push the dirt out along with it and it'll make a mess. So. So I just kind of tried to keep a little bit of space on the top there. And this is only a temporary home, but it'll give you a nice controlled environment to ensure a good germination rate. And eventually, you will have this after about a week. It'll start poking out and you'll get yourself a little bit of this. And then after a couple of more weeks, you're going to get this. It'll grow nice and thick and you can just put it in the ground and it's it's not going anywhere. That stuff is nice and tough and it's just been thriving out here. It got a nice good start indoors. We made sure to keep it warm and moist and the, you just had a 100% germination rate. I couldn't be happier. Once you've sown the seeds and you've got everything set up, um, you just need to moist it down one good time and uh, just don't let it really get dried out much after that. Don't flood it um, or else you'll just drown it out. But um, in general, just keep the soil moist, water it maybe once every morning, and you should be good to go.